Hello dear brethren and welcome to our novitiate page. I am Josephine, a novice of the Daughters of St. Paul, first year. Today I would like to share with you about our mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary. Today is the 11th day since we began the month of May, the month dedicated to Mother Mary. The Virgin Mary has many titles as we know. But for us, Paulines, she is the Queen of the Apostles. Now, why do we call her the Queen of the Apostles? According to our founder, Blessed James Alberium, the answer is that, by nature, Mary is essentially Apostle. She came to give Jesus to the world, to bring life to souls, to be mediatrix of grace, she was the first apostle who received the mission from God. She is the one leading us to the school of Jesus Christ, our divine master. Then, why do we have to love Mary, or to pray through her intercession, or to have a devotion to her? We pray to her because in all her pictures or images, She's presented as mother of God, mother of all humanity, refuge of sinners, and dispersed tricks of graces, who obtains light, sanctity, and merit for us from the Lord. She is the best intercessor. At Cana, she interceded for people when they ran out of wine. And she continues to do it till now, if only we ask her. Also, because she's a woman of a great faith, the Virgin Mary believed the words of the angel, something which seemed to be impossible. And through her fears, we are saved, we are redeemed. Let us go to her. Let us imitate her faith especially during this time of pandemic, let us ask her to intercede for us. She's very close to her son and also close and ready to pray for those who ask her for help. With conviction and trust, let us pray the rosary daily as the Holy Father asked us for she's listening to us and will surely help us. In conclusion, I'd like to summarize everything that I have said with an example of cassava plants. When cassava is planted in the garden, it grows and produces tubers which are edible. When we need to harvest the tubers, we dig around the plant carefully and tenderly in order to avoid uprooting it. Once we reach the tuber, we cut it and cover the root again with soil so that it can produce more tubers for the next time. What does it mean? This signifies that the Christians to sustain or to deepen our relationship with Jesus, we need to approach the Virgin Mary with love and trust so that she may lead us to, to the school of her son. We can pray to Jesus directly and he will definitely listen to us. But through Mother Mary, it is faster and sure. If we neglect her and we uproot the plant, Next time, we will not find the root, and so our relationship with Jesus will not be that strong. Blessed Alberion said this of Mary. Mary is the mother who raises her children, trains them in the spiritual life, and leads them to God. Let us pray with faith and entrust our suffering world to our Blessed Mother Mary. She loves us and will ask of Jesus to do something for us, 
and all the people who are in pain and anxious in our world today. May you be blessed. Thank you. Cheers.